What's up, Tackle Warehouse fans? This is Rich coming back at you with another episode of What's New at TW. Uh, we get, we're in April right now. Um, there's all stages of the spawn happening across the country right now. So regardless what stage you're in, it's time to grab some new lures, innovate a little bit. Uh, big bass are clearly learning that some of the more traditional tactics are not being as effective. And I got some awesome new lures to show you that you may want to try out in 2024, add to your arsenal. Starting off, we got some really cool products from Tackle Warehouse. These are exclusive products. We got some pliers and a nice boat spray bottle. So these pliers have a nice tacky grip on them. Just a great pair to leave around the garage or throw in your tackle bag or box. And then this is a great tool that, this is a great spray bottle to have at home. You know, put your favorite boat spray solution in it, quickly clean your gear down and also have some TW swag in your life. So definitely gonna grab me a pair of those pliers, throw it in the tackle box for this season. Next up from Evergreen, we got the last Ace 140 swim bait. So this is actually a line through swim bait here. It has 3D fins on it and also a really durable plastic material that's gonna give a nice subtle kick in the tail. So you'll do best fishing this bait around grass and cover, um, but you also will be able to skip it up under docks and under overhangs. Just a really versatile lure that kind of is like a good minnow shiner imitator for when those fish are up shallow. Also gonna be a great bed fishing bait if you wanted to to roll these around the beds um, at your local lake. So definitely grab a handful of these, coming in a really cool variety of, of uh, unique colors, super lifelike. Um, definitely check out the Evergreen Last Ace 140 swim bait. All right, next up from Molex, this is the Sop li Soft Liftless 55. So the first thing that you're gonna notice about this bait is this unique blade on the end here. It's gonna have a really nice, subtle kicking motion, but also if you see that, that, that's not hard plastic, that is soft plastic, and that's that um, pronounced head is gonna create a lot of vibration in the water. You're gonna wanna fish this very similarly to like your lipless crankbaits, so you can rip it out of grass, uh, fish it along drop-offs, and kind of work uh, ledges or bluff walls with this bait. Um, and it's kind of a downsized uh, profile bait, so when those fish are keyed in on small bluegill, around spawning coves or eating shad on uh, ledges in your local lakes. Uh, definitely a really unique uh, bait that's gonna get bites um, just due to that undulation of the soft plastic um, and that more realistic profile. Um, and that's from Molex. All right, up next from Spro. So this is in the Spro Essential series. This is the Creeper 80. Uh, this is a really cool new topwater bait. It's actually been around for a little bit um, but it's gonna have a nice crawling action on the surface. So this category of bait's actually a topwater crawler and you can see the wings on this thing. Those wings are made from a very pliable metal material and you can actually bend and tune these wings in if you want a little tighter walking action or you can bend them out if you wanted a little bit more wide action. Uh, depending on what you're seeing, if the fish are slowed down, you can always bend, the, bend these wings in or out kind of based on what you're seeing on the water. Um, available in some really cool colors from Spro. Um, definitely excited to kind of roll these things around some shallow water grass, shallow water cover, um, especially early summer when fish gets off, get off their beds. This is a great thing to kind of cover water in the shallows right when the sun comes up, um, right when you're starting your day on the water. So that's for the Spro Creeper 80. All right, guys, next up from Fitzgerald Fishing. This is the Brian Thrift Micro Tungsten Skipping Jig. So for those of you who use tungsten over lead for your fishing weights, you know all the benefits of uh, possibly using tungsten for your jigs as well. This thing's not only gonna get down there quicker, but it's gonna have a smaller profile. It's gonna really let you match the hatch when fish are kind of feeding on smaller crawfish or bluegill. Um, and you can notice that skipping style head will be great for throwing it deep under docks. And it's also kind of a good design if you wanna drag it around rocks as well. So that's the Fitzgerald Fishing Brian Thrift Micro Skipping Jig. Um, really cool bait. Definitely grab a few of those this season. All right, up next from Defiant, we got a handful of Defiant spinner baits, and this is the underspin. So the Defiant underspin here has a really nice blade that's actually, there's a pronounced wire that kind of keeps that bit blade away from the bait. So the first thing I think when I see that is, boy, I can fish that fast and not worry about that blade hanging up with my plastic. Uh, you can also see it has a huge screw lock keeper right there. Um, so you can really secure whatever plastic you want to pair with this. And lastly, 3D eyes, super realistic gill plates. Um, this, this style head is definitely gonna keep your bait swimming upright, regardless of what you throw on there, um, whether it be like a Kitech uh, paddle tail or something else. Um, but this, this thing's gonna catch a lot of fish at, up here. Um, if you're still in the pre-spawn, obviously a great contender for catching big fish in the pre-spawn. 
Next from Defiant, this is the single bladed buzz bait. And this is a really unique buzz bait. Um, for you seasoned buzz bait anglers, you probably realize this thing is built different um, at an initial glance, starting with that planing style of head. So what that head's gonna allow you to do is slow down and keep the blade spinning on this thing at really slow speeds that other buzz baits aren't gonna be able to achieve. Um, not only does it have a nice uh, flashy blade on here for the buzz bait, but we also have a willow blade attached with a ball bearing swivel. Um, and what that's gonna do is that's just gonna create a little added uh, turbulence on the surface that those fish are gonna be able to uh, tune into and definitely catch fish. Um, and again, this, like the other Defiant heads, it has a screw lock um, keeper for whatever paddle tail and a five aught over pronounced black nickel hook is really gonna keep those fish pinned. Um, and when they come up thrashing on the surface, that bait's not going anywhere. It's gonna stay lodged right in the corner. So that's the Defiant single bladed buzz bait. And kind of on a similar vein, up next I got the Defiance double willow spinner bait. So, Similarly, these willow blades are connected by a nice ball bearing swivel right there. And also another cool thing about this is that little piece of surgical tubing that's gonna keep those two blades apart. So that's again, is gonna keep those blades from running true and not fouling with each other. Again, really over pronounced hook here. That style hook isn't going anywhere when you hook a big bass and you got that screw lock keeper and all the benefits of the other Defiance heads. The realistic gill plates, 3D eyes, and that head is just gonna stay super upright regardless of whatever trailer you wanna pair with that bad boy. All right, up next from Big Bite Baits, this is the Tail Cutter 2.5 inch tube jig. Um, for those crappie enthusiasts, perch enthusiasts, trout, panfish, you name it, this is a really cool new bait from Big Bite Baits. You can pair it with a plethora of jig heads. They specifically designed one to pair with this. Um, this 2.5 inch is definitely gonna kinda target whatever fish are keyed on and on that smaller bait. So it's probably gonna be more panfish, um, but it's specifically designed to pair with forward-facing sonar, which in the crappie world is huge. Um, you can really see this bait show up um, in real time, and you'll be able to you know, see when those big, big panfish suck this thing down. Um, definitely grab a few of these if you're into the panfish game. Um, coming up to a really good time of year if you're into that as well. So, uh, really cool new lure to check out um, from Big Bite Baits. That is the um, tail cutter 2.5 inch. And it's got that new Big Bite Baits sensation in there as well for that added lure. All right, guys, up next we got the Fisher Dye Bait Company. This is the Gadsden. Bef before I start talking about these plastics, I want to talk a little bit about. Fisher Dye Bait Company. They're a veteran-owned business. Everything they make produced in the USA and percentage of all their proceeds goes to veteran foundations. So they have a really cool cause. Um, definitely um, a really cool and a really cool selection of baits as well. So this is the Gadsden. This is a drop shot, kind of a Sculpin Gobi imitator. And the first thing that I notice about this bait is the rib back. And boy, anytime we see ribs, we know that that's gonna cause a lot of action in the water. And you also have that nice kind of, it's like a tapered tail that goes out to a little bit more pronounced phalange. And on the bottom, you actually have a little undercut bottom on that phalange as well. And that's just gonna move a bunch of water and it's gonna create a little paddle in the water as well when you kind of creep that along the bottom. Big smallmouth up north, if you guys are into this style bait, you guys are not gonna be able to resist uh, getting this thing in front of big fish. I think this is gonna be super deadly up there in the north in the coming months. So that's the Gadsden from Fisher Dye Bait Company. Up next, we got the Ajac from Fisher Dye Bait Company. And again, Gobi Sculpin Imitator. Put this on your favorite jig head, fish it on a drop shot. Big smallmouth are gonna be crushing this thing. When I first take this out of the package, I immediately see these 3D fins on this thing. And boy, each one is perfectly cut out. The tail is super straight. And that's the next thing I wanna talk about. You have that reverse boot tail on there. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna keep the head of this bait up like a goby or a sculpin when you're creeping this thing along the bottom. Um, smallmouth, when they see that, they're not gonna be able to resist. They're gonna slurp it down and you're gonna be hooked onto a big bronze fish. So that's uh, the Ajac from Fisher Dye Bait Company. Go ahead, pick up a few of these bad boys. Up next, we got the Sherman 4 from Fisher Dye Bait Company. Flipping pitching enthusiasts after bass lay their eggs or while they're spawning, take this thing up around the bushes, up around the tulies, up around cover and give it a go because this thing is gonna catch a lot of big fish. It has some big appendages. It has a big flapper tail that you can disconnect here or leave intact depending on how much action you wanna get. 
Um, and another cool thing about this bait is these craws that kind of um, stick out aside from those two flappers off the back. Um, you're gonna get a ton of action off this thing. Not only do you have those crazy appendages off the back, but you have those small ones off the side as well. It's gonna come through cover really nicely. Pair that with like a four-aught flipping hook, and you're gonna start doing some damage up in the cover, up in the shallows um, here this spawn and right after they spawn post-spawn. Thanks for watching this week's episode of What's New at TW. If you liked any of the products that you saw, there's links in the description. Go ahead and drop a comment on which one's your favorite, and we'll catch you next time.